Hi, welcome back to our channel and welcome to my kitchen. Here on our channel, we try really hard to show you simple, easy, thrifty meals that can be on the table in under an hour that don't cost a ton of money and the ingredients are simple not boxes not mixes they're just simple straight ingredients so let's get to it Today's meal is a really easy chicken with mustard sauce and I'm just going to serve it with pasta and some green peas. Now actually you can use any side dish you want. You can use rice, it, the sauce is good on rice, the sauce is good on potatoes, pasta, noodles, it really doesn't matter because the sauce is that good. See what I mean by simple? So easy. You need some spicy brown mustard or some Dijon or in any type of mustard that you like. Some salt, some pepper, a little bit of flour, your chicken breast, some whipping cream or half and half. You can, you can make the sauce with either one and three tablespoons of butter. There's pasta. And my peas are already on the stove. That's it. The very first thing you'll want to do is get your water hot for your pasta. Because that's really your pasta is what's going to take the longest. Because that chicken is not going to take any time hardly at all to cook. We're going to put our water on. I'm going to salt that water really liberally. I probably put, you know, a good half a tablespoon or something of salt in there. It, you're pasta is not going to soak up that much salt but I want it to have flavor so there we go bring that to a boil now we'll get started on the chicken all right first thing we'll want to do is get some wax paper or some saran wrap or something and put it on your cutting board and then we're going to take our chicken pieces now these are thin enough so yeah that is pretty thin and this one's thin enough, so we're going to lay that out. We're going to put another piece over the top. And then we're going to take a meat mallet, and we are going to beat them flat. And the reason for the paper is so that you don't spatter meat all over your kitchen. And you want to beat it down to about a fourth of an inch thick. Here we go. Now we're talking. Now we're thin enough. Make sure you get all that paper off. All right, now. Okay, and we're going to very lightly salt. Don't get crazy. We're going to lightly pepper. Ok, 
Okay, and don't worry about salt and pepper on the other side. We just want a nice flavor. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Dijon mustard and you're gonna put it, not a whole lot of that either. We're gonna put a couple of teaspoons on each one and we're gonna brush it in. See what I mean? We're just gonna brush that in. Don't need a ton. In fact, I may have put a little too much, but that's okay, because we like mustard. Right, now we're gonna flip those. We're gonna do the same thing to the back side. I'm gonna brush that in. And you put as much mustard or as little as you like. All right now we're gonna go for a medium high heat. Right there's a good medium. And we're gonna let that pan get nice and hot. Now we're gonna melt three tablespoons of butter. As soon as that's melted, We'll go on to the next part. Okay, now that my butter's nice and hot, we're gonna take that little bit of flour and we're gonna pick up our chicken and we're gonna lay it in that flour. And we're just going to set that in there, just like that. Hear that little sizzle, that's what you want. That way it won't stick to the bottom of your pan. Now we're going to get that second piece in there. And that's probably, after you beat them down like that, you're only probably going to get two in a good size skillet. So you'll just have to do it in batches if you need more than that. And as thin as it is, it shouldn't take but three four minutes per side for that chicken to be completely done. Right, see how fast? Oop, maybe I could have left that another minute. You see, it doesn't take any time at all when it's that, look at that. Doesn't take very long at all, as thin as it is, to cook. And you don't need it on super high heat. And you really want to keep it at that medium. You really don't need a super high heat because then you're liable to burn your chicken. All right, they're done now. So I'm going to take them out. And just set them on a plate. And then this is what makes the meal. We're gonna make that sauce. Okay, you remember that whipping cream? We're just gonna pour that right in there. And we're gonna take that gravy whisk. And we're gonna get up all those nice little brown bits. We're gonna add a little salt. Add a little pepper. If I can get it open, I can get some pepper. <laughs> Drop that nice pepper in there. And then we're going to put about a teaspoon. Well, there we go. Now a teaspoon. <laughs> and a little goes a long way. You don't need a ton, unless you just really love the mustard. All right, and for me, you know what? I'm gonna add a little more, just because I can. And I'm gonna add a little half and half to my cream. 
because I know Randy and he's going to want extra sauce. So I'm going to put about half a cup, half and half in there. Then give it another mix. And we're just going to let that simmer and then I'm going to put that chicken back in there so that when I serve my chicken, it'll be nice and hot. Now my water's boiling and I'm going to start that pasta. Okay, I got a good rolling bowl and I'm going to put about two cups. Yep, about that much. I'm going to give that a good stir to make sure my pasta doesn't stick together. I'm going to put that lid back on a skew, let it come back to a boil, and then I have about 12 minutes on my pasta. Okay, now I'm going to do a little taste test on my sauce and see if I need to adjust anything. Yep, I'm leaving it alone. I like it. All right, now I'm going to turn it down to low, low, low. And I'm going to add my chicken back in there and let my chicken sit in that sauce while my pasta gets done. Now that my pasta's drained, I'm going to drop it right back in there and I'm going to add some olive oil because this is plenty rich enough that I don't need to add butter, but I don't want my pasta to stick. So we're just going to add a little bit of olive oil and we are ready to plate up. Yeah, this is truly one of Randy's favorite meals. We have this fairly often. So, taste test on its way. Because he really can't wait. No, I can't. I love this stuff, guys. And I know that this is actually viewer approved. So, you should really give this one a try. I'm just going to dive right in. Oh, yeah. I, I actually... Mm. I have done a video on this before, but it was when we had the old camera and it really wasn't all that good. Old software, old sound. It, it was terrible. So we're going to delete that one and go with this one. I mean, it's exactly the same recipe, but it's definitely, hopefully today is a better video for you. All your videos are awesome, baby. Uh -huh. Okay, it's good to go. This is approved. This, you will drool over. It's very, very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, why don't you tell them they can like, use rice and stuff? I did earlier. Oh, and make a lot of extra sauce, guys. <laughs> he is an extra, extra, extra sauce kind of person. Yeah, well, I'm going to get the sauce, put more in the chicken, put some more on the pasta. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Yep, that's the way to go. Uh -huh. I'm out of here. Like, subscribe, share. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.